Hello friends and welcome back to a brand new weekly plan with me video. This week I am planning out the week of September 25th through October 1st and it is the last week of September. The month of September has been a rather interesting one. So for majority of this month's videos, I batch filmed them. So I filmed them quite a while ago and did the voiceovers as much as I could. But this is the first video in a while that I am recording closer to the time this video goes live. And that is because I got a surgery and I think I'll go more into it in a future video because I'm still recovering, but I'm doing good. I'm okay. And the surgery I got is going to better my quality of life here in the future. And I'm really excited about it. So I've been spending September recouping and recovering and I've been reading a lot of books. As I'm doing this voiceover, I'm at 10 books so far for the month, and I'm working on two more that I will probably finish very soon. One is an audiobook and one is a physical book. I will go ahead and leave the list of books I've completed in the description box below so you can check them out for yourself. My favorite book so far this month, well, two favorites is Wayward by Amelia Hart, I believe, and The Night Circus, which is a reread by Aaron Morgenstern. Those two books were so good. I devoured them in like a couple days time and I highly recommend them. I gave them both five stars. I think I gave Wayward five stars. And another really good book was Home After Dark, I think, by Riley Sager. So good. Highly recommend it's like a twist on the Amityville horror story, but he kind of made it its own. So yeah, highly recommend. I will go ahead and leave those books, like I said, in the description box below. Oh, and before I forget, the biggest news of all is that my fiance proposed to me before my surgery took place. So I now have a fiance, I have my beautiful ring, and it was such a special day. Some of my bestest friends all mingled and got together and put it together with my now fiance. It was a total surprise and it was absolutely amazing and it definitely helped alleviate any nerves or anxiety before my surgery. So it was just amazing and so special. So in my future videos, you will be seeing my pretty little ring make an appearance and I am just over the moon and so, so happy. Because I have been recovering for a good while now, I haven't been able to use my planner because I don't really have much going on. So after a while and when I started feeling well enough, I would just kind of journal in my daily boxes because I literally do the same thing every day as I'm healing. So. I started journaling kind of like either what I did that day or any thoughts I had or if it was a hard day because if you've had a surgery or know anyone who's had a surgery done, recovering is no joke. Like you have your good days and you have your bad days. So I would just journal in the daily boxes if there was something worth like notating 
or maybe if a friend or friends came to see me, I would notate that just for memory keeping sake. So I'm definitely trying to make use of the spreads that I've created throughout the month because I don't want them to just be empty. And as far as my weekly meal logs, those have been a little bit harder to like log and I haven't really been doing it. But what I did start doing is kind of using it almost as a journaling page. So it does look kind of weird because I already have the boxes all planned out for each day and for each meal. But I decided to just maybe journal about the types of foods I'm eating. Not really how often I'm eating, but more just like what we're enjoying and if we're cooking or if we're getting something easy because we've been working a lot. So it just depends. I've been trying to utilize those pages now that I'm feeling much better and I have a bit more energy. So one thing I have been enjoying during my recovery is my new oracle and tarot cards. So if you're not into tarot or oracle or anything like that, feel free to mute me because I'm going to be talking about it here for a minute. So back in early summer, I want to say maybe May or June, I pre-ordered an oracle and a tarot deck. It is from Three Trees Tarot, and they're based in the UK. And I've been wanting the Oak, Ash, and Thorn Tarot deck ever since I saw it on Tarot Tube. And they were doing a pre-order for the Thistledown Oracle deck. And it's kind of its little companion piece, or you can use them separately, obviously. But they are animal decks. And that is kind of my vibe and they are very rustic looking like I love the artwork so much it is like illustrated style but it's it's not cartoony um, I'm very particular about the type of cards that I purchase and I'm very intentional because I know what I like and what I don't like and these cards were something that just I knew I had to have as part of my little tiny collection I have about six total so I have three oracle cards and three tarot cards or decks I should say so I have about six total now and I have been really enjoying playing around with specifically the oracle cards um, the tarot I think I'm going to do Kind of like I said with my Moon Child tarot deck, I want to do a journal for it. So before I really start practicing with the tarot deck, I want to log down like what the author's meanings are for the cards. So when I use this deck, I kind of have a better understanding. I also do well. I mean, as we can see from my channel, I like to write things down <laughs> and I like to plan out, you know, my own thing so I want to do that before I really dive into the tarot but I've been really enjoying the Thistledown Oracle deck and it's got the cutest animals it's absolutely precious and I've done a couple readings on myself and for some friends and it's pretty spot on and from the description in the guidebook it is kind of meant to be more of an intuition deck Meaning it just gives you like guidance, but you can kind of use your intuition to lay out what the meaning is in whatever situation. So I've been really enjoying getting to know these decks and I'm so happy to have them in my possession. So yeah, I've been really enjoying playing around with those. And other than reading and working on some of the content for YouTube. I've also been journaling a lot 
because during recovery, I'm having a lot of feelings about things and I have been crying a lot, which is healthy and normal and it's fine, but I try to make time to journal about every few days, uh, especially when it calls to me. So be it in my bullet journal or in my other journal, it's been really helpful to the recovery process. Right now, I am working on my weekly meal log, which I may or may not use for its intended purposes. We shall see. Mostly, I've been eating the same things every day for the most part, at least for breakfast. So, it really just depends. I could use this more as a journaling page, but we'll see how I feel in the week to come. As I am wrapping up this spread, I just wanted to let you know that my October spreads are probably most likely going to be delayed, which makes me really sad because October, out of all the months, October is my favorite month to decorate for, and it's usually when I'm the most creative with my spreads, so I don't know when those will go up. I don't even know... I might just even skip October altogether as I'm in recovery. We'll see what happens. We'll play it by ear. But I know once I am ready and able to film again, I will have a bunch of unboxings to share on my channel and continue with the weeklies and the monthly spreads. So yes, I'm very sad about that. And I will also post something in my community tab. So yeah, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. And that's going to be the end of this weekly bullet journal setup, the last week of September 2023. I hope you have a wonderful fall season. I hope you have the best time as we welcome in October. And I will see you in my next video.